Hi everyone, welcome to Vidwan. In this video, we will learn how to use Wally library and fetch data from internet. Let's head to the Wally documentation. Wally is a HTTP library that makes networking for Android apps easier and most importantly, faster. Interestingly, Wally is developed by Google. Let's get started. To pick up a public API, I have a favorite GitHub link that shows all the public APIs that are available on internet. Simply just search for public APIs GitHub, you will get that link. You can open this link and go through the collective list of free APIs available. So you get to see many categories among which you can choose one and try to use that particular library. Let us pick up this news category. I like this in shorts news. This is developed by Cyberboy Sumanjai. This is an unofficial in shorts news API. However, as this is just an example, we will try to see how this library fetches news and displays it on the device. So if you simply hit on this link with the category set to science, you will get the news related to science category in JSON format. You get to see there is a huge JSON response coming in for the category science. If the category is set to technology, you get to see the news related to technology and this news will come to you as a JSON object. Not only technology and science, we got 13 categories in which we can get the news from. Check out this library because this is really interesting. I'll pin this link in the description. Let's create a new project. Let's hit on new project. Choose empty activity. Let us simply call it in shorts unofficial. Simply hit on finish to create this project. We will be developing a relatively very simple application. Let us remove this hello world. Let us design the UI quickly. I'll just have a button at the bottom of the screen. So I should set my bottom constraint of the button to the bottom end of the screen left to left and right to right so that the button will be in place. Let us change the button's uh, width to match its constraints. So the button will be extending itself to the fullest width of the screen. In the place of the button, I'd like to call it as get data or get news. We will also have a text view so that we can display the entire content. So let us set the top constraint of the text view to the top of the screen, left to left, right to right and the bottom constraint to the top constraint of this button. We can actually scale this text view to the fullest width by making the text view's height to match constraint. Similar is the case with width of the text view. Please note that the ID of the text view is text view. If you scroll down a little bit, you will find some text here. Let us just stylize it a bit. Let us choose a color. Let us make it bold. So we can now remove this text view. Along with this text view and the button, let us also drag in and drop this progress bar. Set the top constraint to the top of the screen, bottom constraint to the top constraint of the button, left constraint to left side of the screen and right constraint to the right hand side of the screen. Progress bar has an ID called progress bar. When you want to work with networking, the first thing that you need to do is head to androidmanifest.xml and add the permission to use internet. Next, we should head to the Wally Networking Library official documentation. So we are supposed to add this dependency, copy the dependency, come back to the project, open build.gradle file for your application module. You can add your dependency in the dependencies uh, section. Hit on sync enough so that the dependency will be added to your project. We will head back to activate underscore main and create an on click event handler for this button. On click, I want to create a method called get news on main activity. Do alt enter, choose create get news in main activity. So let us create an object for the text view. Let us call it text view. Let us also create an object for progress bar. Let us call it progress bar. Connect these two with the help of find view by ID. Do not show the progress bar to the user as soon as the user opens the application. So set the set visibility attribute to invisible. As soon as the button is pressed, as we will be doing networking, we will set the visibility to visible back again. Now here, as soon as the get news button is pressed, we are supposed to do networking 
and fetch data from wally library so let's head back to the documentation and if you see there are important links available under the lessons heading i'll just want to do a simple send request i'll hit on this lesson after adding the internet permission which we already did in our project the first thing that you're going to do is you are supposed to create a request queue object with wally.new request queue you should take the url with which you want to do the networking create a string request object with the response listener and the error listener once these are defined simply you need to add the string request to the queue that is created in the first step nice you can actually copy this code and try to work with it however let us write the code in the get news method first create a request queue i will call it queue that is equal to wally dot new request queue pass this as the context next you are going to create a string url and that is equal to so this is the url that will fetch the data for us let's paste the url here next we are supposed to create a string request object so string request i would like to call it as request is equal to new string request so new string request will have four parameters the first parameter is the type of request that you want to do if you want to do get request you just have to give method from wally dot get next thing you just simply need to give the url you have to implement the response listener and the error listener new response listener and after this we need to take a new error listener we have to implement the error listener as well for response listener you get on response method and for error listener you get on error response to implement okay when there is a response i just want to simply show it on the text view i write text view dot set text write response and you're done in a similar way when there is a error you can simply show that error on the text view set text error dot get message in both the cases we are supposed to stop showing the progress bar so progress bar dot set visibility to invisible we'll copy the same line all right once this request is created we just have to add this request to the queue so queue dot add pass this request object and we are done now we can simply run this application on the mobile device and uh, try to see the output let me show the output on visa the app is up and running now if i hit on get news i see that there is a progress bar visible to the user and as soon as the data is fetched this progress bar will go invisible and you can see the data thank you so much for watching subscribe to vidwan and never miss an update by enabling the notification good day bye bye